Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to talk about this whole Meg Thee Stallion situation that's been trending all day. I know a lot of people have been tagging me in this. And um, this entire situation is really interesting. So what basically went down is that yesterday um, during the podcast with Emily, um, we had gotten tagged in this that the driver, who is Jaquan Smith, um, basically his paperwork was online. Um and so we didn't want to talk about it yesterday because I wanted more context. I didn't know, you know, how recent this was, if this had been out there. So I'm going to read to you guys what he stated in his affidavit, okay? So he says, my name is Jaquan Smith. I'm over the age of 18 and fully competent to testify. I have firsthand knowledge of the facts in question that took place on July 12, 2020. That is the basis of the above-cited proceedings. I was the driver and bodyguard of Mr. Daystar Peterson, who is better known as Tory Lanes, in July of 2020. Mr. Peterson had been known me for seven years. At the time of the incident, I had worked for Mr. Peterson Peterson for three years. He has not only been an employer, but also consider him to be a close personal friend. On July 12th to 2020, I was asked to drive Mr. Peterson to the home of Kylie Jenner, where Miss Megan Pete and Kelsey Harris were present. Mr. Peterson was at Miss Jenner's home for approximately two hours when I received a call to come pick up Pete and Miss Harris. Miss Pete and Harris and myself left Jenner's home, but I was asked by Miss Pete to return because she stated that she had forgotten a shoe. When we arrived at Miss Jenner's home at the time, Mr. Harris stayed in the car while Miss Pete exited. Miss Pete did not enter the home at the time. She went around back to the pool area where Mr. Peterson was located. Both Miss Pete and Mr. Peterson returned to the car after a few moments. Miss Pete was bickering, but unsure of the exact words she was saying. She seemed upset. The four of us left Miss Jenner's residence. As I began to drive, Miss Pete started to fight with Mr. Peterson. They were going back and forth. I remember Mr. Peterson saying to Miss Pete that he was going to tell Miss Harris what was going on. I do not remember what street we were on, but Miss Pete asked me to stop the vehicle. I did as she was asked, and Miss Pete went to sit on a nearby bus stop. Mr. Peterson went and spoke with Miss Pete. About two minutes after they returned to the car, I began driving again. Miss Pete started the argument again, and Miss Harris asked what was going on. Mr. Peterson told her that he and Miss Pete had been dating an intimate. Miss Harris was upset by this, and she and Mr. Peterson had been dating in the same manner prior to any relationship with Miss Pete. Miss Pete and Miss Harris began fighting. I pulled over to stop them. Miss Pete and Miss Harris both got out the vehicle and continued to fight, both verbally and physically. I broke up this fight and was pulling Miss Pete towards the back of the car. I saw Miss Harris with a gun in her hand. Mr. Peterson ran from behind Miss Pete and myself towards Miss Harris. Mr. Peterson and Miss Harris began struggling, and Mr. Peterson tried to unarm Miss Harris. I was pulling Miss Pete and did not see who shot the weapon. I was lucky I was not harmed, and in my opinion, Miss Pete was also fortunate. The whole incident happened so quickly within a couple of minutes, okay? So that is his testimony that has basically gone viral. Everybody's talking about this, and a lot of people are saying, well, this means that Tory didn't have anything to do with it. He was wrongly convicted. It was obviously, you know, Kelsey who did this. So once again, the trial is being played out in the court of public opinion. On top of that, like we talked about yesterday, Party has been on this, you know, hobo tour about his breakup with Meg Thee Stallion and if he cheated and didn't cheat. So I want y'all to watch both of these videos. Because on the Cobra song, she talked about you, um, <laughs> you know, in the same bed that she sleeps in. Right. So you said it wasn't there. So what did happen? Did that's, you cheat? That's not what happened. Put it like that. That's not what happened at all. Um, What's she? No, 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 don't let, do let, that. no, 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 please, 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 please. Because, <laughs> don't you but, do that. No, 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 because I really need to go there. I really, I really, really do. Did you get your dick sucked by deflecting. somebody else? I'm not deflecting it. Did she catch you getting your dick sucked? Absolutely not. Okay. Absolutely not. Did you have sex or be or you intimate with somebody else while y'all were in, in a relationship? relationship? Absolutely not. You're saying you didn't cheat? 
Absolutely. But this is my thing, right? <laughs> okay. Is, is hiding text messages cheating from your partner? Is that cheating? Well, what are these text messages? Well, I feel if like... If it's something that you got to hide from your partner, is it cheating? Right. And that's what I was going to say. I feel like anything... And I've, I've answered this plenty of times. I feel like anything that you are doing that you would not do in front of your significant other, I feel like that's a form of cheating. Or Rather anything you don't want her doing. Right. Rather it's be, emotionally, you know. physically, <clears throat> intellectually, if it's something that you're not going to do right in front of your partner or something that you wouldn't accept your partner doing from you, then yes, that's cheating. Yeah, that's just probably. my thought. So did you cheat? In that regard, I, 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 I say so. Okay. You know what I mean? So maybe but, it was inappropriate stuff. But I will say in, inappropriate, inappropriate. Correct, right? <laughs> okay. You're inappropriate, correct. But the way that it was painted out would have me so mad. I'm like... This is the part of the relationship after everything that took place, everything that was like kind of, you know, forgiving everything that we've washed away, especially when nobody asked for this. This is what you want to go with. What happened? Why did y'all break up? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, because he's never like directly answered the question. Why did we break up? There's a there's a there's a laundry list of, of reasons that could have caused us to be apart. And I don't want you to give any of them because you still love that young lady. I, that was my next question because on your project, it sounds like... No, on the person, it sounds like you still love her. You do. You you definitely love you her. You absolutely. I, listen, I'm a person that doesn't that believes love doesn't go away. It changes. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like And I've always... And that's another thing I've stated. Like, yo, I always want well for her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm not a person that wants bad for her. I'm not out here calling her all types of such and such. I've, I've, never, I've never even discussed some of the things on that song with my closest friends like you know what i'm saying so when the song came people's like yo that this ha you know what i'm saying i don't i don't i never ever once ever talk bad about her to, to anyone not even you know what i mean like mm -hmm. I, I i i do wish her the best you're would you still do holding during? it well right now huh? would you do it during because you said that you picked out a ring from greg first you of all the great i saw a guy he didn't say we, we, picked it up. About we don't know if he actually birthday, got the Brooklyn ring did you buy it hold on did you buy it or did you pick it up it's it's a uh, it's a uh, the money has been allotted for something different now. Oh, but, and, but you said she lied to you about something. What did she lie about? What you was talking about earlier? Because when, yes. when you buy a ring and you're about to propose, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so you found out she lied about something and that made you change your mind. I felt like, I felt like it made me definitely have to second guess where where we was at, you know what I mean, at that time. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it took, it, it did it did damage, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, internal, I don't know if it made us break apart, but it was just like, it, it definitely took a blow to me. Record. The Cobra, Cobra record. Did that hurt you then to hear that record? I'm not gonna lie, I was absolutely hurt because I knew, I knew you knew what it would do to me. They you released it, you knew this was my daughter's birthday, you knew that. I, I didn't think this person would choose to, to use me to sell a record or get clicks, you know what I'm saying? Did you cheat? Absolutely. Okay. Did I do it first? Absolutely not. All right, so you guys just saw his videos. So now today, Meg Thee Stallion decided to come out of nowhere and basically address Tori, she addressed Kelsey, and she's addressing Partisan as well. I want y'all to go ahead and watch this video, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. This way, you, you're not supposed to be smiling right now. You're not supposed to still be getting deals. You're not supposed to be in movies. You're not supposed to be recording albums. You're supposed to be sad where you was with me two, three years ago. When I got in a relationship, all that shit was deleted. I was sat the fuck down. I was sat. I was seated. I was very much happy where I was at. If if this if this man is saying I didn't cheat on her, I didn't do that. Well, why the fuck is you responding to me? Do you know how many niggas y'all claim I done fucked with? Why are you answering? Why are you trying to make that shoe fit? Was it you getting your dicks up in the same spot I was sleeping? If you say it wasn't you, why the hell is you dissing me? Like, what the fuck is going on? Why are you talking to me? I wasn't, if you said I wasn't talking to you, I wasn't talking to you. Like, you just wanted to fucking find a reason to bash me. It's, it seems very strategic. Like, it feels like they getting on Megan ass. All right, let me go get on her ass too. Like, if I'm not talking about you, why the hell are you talking about me? Like, what's happening? And should I not defend myself? Like, should I not come on here and say, what? Like, I don't have anything bad to say about my ex. I genuinely don't. Like, if I'm not talking about you, why are you talking about me? You say, I didn't cheat. So why you thought that bar was for you? Why are you making the shoe fit, Cinderella? Like, you squeezing your foot in there, friend. If it wasn't you, why the hell is you talking to me? That doesn't make sense. 
And I don't feel like I should have to explain myself, but you know, it, I'm, I'm not that big of a person yet. God ain't finished with me. He's still working. And then one more thing before I go. Um, I'm trying to move on from being shot the best I can. I still wake up in the middle of the night crying. People, especially people that I used to be cool with, they know how bad social media affect me. Everybody in my life knew how bad social media would make me cry. Like, I would get online and see people say some terrible shit, and I'd be like, oh my God, everybody hates me, it's over. So the people who attack me that I used to be cool with, they know exactly where to hit me, where it hurt, because they think that I'm still on that type of time, like social media gonna hurt my feelings. Motherfuckers is getting denied every time they try to set a motion for a new trial. So they trying to pull shit out the air, like, okay, let's do this now. I'm not about to keep going with y'all. Y'all defending somebody who didn't even take the stand and defend themselves. Y'all going back and forth about facts. Y'all could go read real shit. Like, y'all literally believe anything if it's bold and in all caps. Like, go read something that's going to take you a minute to sit down and have a good read. Like, go read something that's going to make you have to do some critical thinking. Not a thing that is curated by bots and blogs that hate me. Like, y'all need to sit down and have a good read. Like, imagine somebody saying that they did not commit a crime and not defending themselves to the T. Imagine y'all saying somebody is following the street code, not snitching. Are you snitching or are you not snitching? Cause y'all trying to pretend like Kelsey shot me. Kelsey didn't motherfucking shoot me. And I really wonder why she, her main problem with me was, you won't tell people I didn't shoot you. I was like, Kelsey, I don't want to talk about this on social media at all. But now you won't even get online and defend yourself. So that really just proves my points. Either you took some money or your life is in danger. Like why won't you get online and say, bitch, cause this is what y'all care about. Y'all care about online. Cause the case already won in court, but y'all care about online. Why would y'all motherfuckers not get up there and say, if you did, if you say you didn't shoot me, why won't you get on the stand and say, I didn't shoot this bitch? You, you say it online every day. You figure out how to get your niggas to say you didn't do it. You figure out how to get the blogs to say you didn't do it. But the one motherfucker it would have mattered from was you. You should have said, I didn't do it. Kelsey did it. If she did it, why wouldn't you just say she did it? Kelsey, if you did not do it, why won't you just say, I did not do it? I know who shot me. I said who shot me, and that's why the fuck you in jail. Y'all motherfuckers are dragging it online like it's some new evidence. There's no new evidence. Motherfucking witnesses went missing. Why? I wonder why the witnesses went missing. Did y'all pay them? Why y'all showing up now? Why y'all showing up? It's about to be 2024. Y'all still fucking with me. Y'all are still fucking with me. Why? Because y'all see me moving on and doing better. Y'all see me trying to heal and trying to grow. But y'all keep trying to bring me back this way when I'm trying to go this way. So I hope that this really gives y'all some insight to go and have a good read. Don't read the, the big bold letters. Don't read them. Read, read it. Read the article. Read a real article. Read something from a real journalist. The, the, the big font with the bold background. Don't, the big font, bold background. Don't read that. All right, so you guys just watched the video of Meg Thee Stallion. And a lot of y'all are not going to like my commentary. And let me tell y'all, first and foremost, I don't give a fuck. Do not DM me. Do not email me. These are my opinions. If you don't like them, unsubscribe and move exit stage left, okay? One, I've been over this case from day one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm big on energy and I'm big on, um, you know, reading people's character, and there's something very, very flawed about Megan, okay? Like I said from day one, yes, she was some type of victim. You know, she was shot in her foot. But this whole story has been so convoluted and bullshit. And I love how she's trying to once again rewrite history. Let me go back to the Kelsey situation, right? When Kelsey first was locked up, because remember, Kelsey went to jail, Tori went to jail. And I remember clearly around that time, y'all can go back and watch all the videos I've done covering this whole situation, I remember clearly that was the main rumor that was being put out there that this was a Yolanda Salvador situation. If y'all don't know who Yolanda is, she's the woman who killed Selena. Okay, Selena the singer. And um, a lot of people were saying that Kelsey was the one who shot Meg. You know what I'm saying? She was trying to Yolanda Salvador her. Megan never came out and said, no, that's my best friend. She would never. It was Tori. She decided to low-key protect Tori at the time. Those were her own words, that she wanted to protect the black man because of George Floyd and all that stuff. So she didn't come out and defend her own friend. Kelsey didn't say anything. She got out of jail, kept it quiet. 
Then all of a sudden, Megan dropped the diss track first, okay? What we do have proof of was in the court records is that Kelsey and Tori were smashing. They were in some type of intimate relationship. Once Kelsey caught COVID, then Meg slid in, right? So all this had been proven in a court of law. The whole fight that happened at Kylie Jenner's house and everything else. So now um, you find out at this party that the guy that you're smashing, that you like, that you think you have something with, is smashing your best friend. And your best friend knows this and she does not care. Like I've always said to me, Meg is not a girl's girl. But y'all can get in y'all's feelings defending and trying to make me think otherwise. So they're in the car. They're arguing. You know, all this stuff happens. Now we fast forward. Megan decides to drop her diss track first. Remember, up until this point, Kelsey hadn't said anything. It had been mainly Megan fans and people on social media trolling her, harassing her and everything else. So... November 19th of 2020, Megan drops Shots Fired, okay? And in Shots Fired, she goes at Tori and she goes at Kelsey. Even in the lyrics of her song, she says, Who was snitch? I ain't never went to the police with no names. I thought a bitch that got her change snatch caught the laws has something to say. Basically saying that she didn't tell on either Tori or Kelsey, once again, protecting Tori. Then she goes on later on in the song, she says this, who you taking shots at, you goofy ass bitch? Watching me succeed from your knees sucking dick? I know you want attention from the niggas that I get. I'm a steak, you a side plate, shrimp stay in your place. Real bitch, yeah, yeah, I'm selling fairy tales. FaceTiming niggas while my other nigga laying there. Bitch thinks she's sabotaging something, trying to run and tell. Bitch, I got a bond with my niggas, they well aware. So basically, this was after everything went down. Once Kelsey found out Megan wasn't really a friend to her, she ran trying to tell all the dudes that Megan was fucking with you know, how Megan got down. And so Megan is replying back to her saying, you know, you're trying to sit here and snitch and, you know, sabotage my other relationships. But these niggas fuck with me. They know what it is. They all know about each other. I broke this down literally two years ago on my live stream. But, you know, people love to play crazy child. Then she also accused her of being broke, saying, you know, where'd you get the money from? Obviously, you were paid. There were so many diss tracks towards Kelsey in that song, right? Do this because... Last time I sent Megan a text and I told her what was the purpose of shading me. Whatever your issues is, call me or text me. I ain't get no response. So this is my only way to shoot a message to her through the internet. Because I prefer to have it out off of social media. You know what I'm saying? You slandering my, slandering my name. You're tarnishing my character. Why? I'm a shrimp, remember? Why are you so, wor why are you so worried about me? You stayed in nothing but lies in your diss track. You beefing with a f you. You did a diss track to somebody that ain't no fucking rapper. I'm not a rapper, and you dissing me, Megan. Stop playing with me. I ain't want to have to do this, y'all. I prefer not to. I wish her well. I pray for her. I want her to elevate. But you're not going to get to where you need to go when you're steady trying to bury somebody. you steady trying to put me down. Why? All right. So you guys just heard Kelsey's response because initially, you know, Kelsey was really upset. She was getting trolled. People were attacking her, calling her Lana Salzavar. So she had to come to the Internet and address it. And then a few days later, she was finally like, F it. You know what I'm saying? She decided to clap back at Megan with her own diss track, which I'm sure 1501 helped her with. Three, four days later, Kelsey then in return dropped her own diss track called Bustin' Back, okay? She says, got my, because in Meg's song, she talks about Kelsey getting her chain snatched and going to the police. So Kelsey replying back, got my chain snatched. Damn, there you go, lying. To be an A-list celebrity, you do too much trying. Where I get my money from, bitch, you knew I was a hustler. Way she did 1501, I knew I couldn't trust her. Protect black women, huh? But you sending threats to me. Damn, I thought you was solid. Now the joke's on me. Damn, I didn't want to have to do this, but you steadily sending shots. Dad said if I spoke that a sex tape would drop. I'ma still live it up. I know that y'all hate it. Sucking dick behind my back, who's really on their knees? You an overachiever, all you do is suck seeds. So they're replying back to each other. She was replying back to Megan's diss track on her, okay? Not one time did Megan come out to clear this girl's name. That's all that girl wanted. We're not cool no more. You know what I'm saying? We're not friends, but at least 
get your peoples, get your your fans off of my back. And then remember there was that video of Megan after this diss track dropped of her and her friends making fun of Kelsey and clowning her, being real childish, okay? So now we fast forward to the party situation. So Megan drops the Cobra song. And in the Cobra song, she's talking about how she caught her man um, in the bed, in her bed, getting his peen sucked, right? I did a video on this, not even a few weeks ago. Finally dropped her latest single, and it is called Cobra. And so she has been trending all day um, because of this particular verse in Cobra. I want y'all to go ahead and hear this snippet really quick. How him cheating, getting his dick stuck in the same spot I'm sleeping. All right, so you guys just heard that snippet. Basically, she said, pulled up, caught him cheating, getting his peen sucked in the same spot I'm sleeping, okay? So that is what Meg Thee Stallion said. And so basically, child, you know these social media detectives, honey, they done came to their own conclusion. And the conclusion is it was partisan. Partisan was cheating on her. So Meg was trending. Party was trending. And so Party was getting drugged all up and down Twitter all this morning. It was very interesting to watch. And a lot of people were like just really, really upset. They're saying that, you know, how dare, you know, he get with her and, you know, make her feel comfortable and, you know, make Megan his girl only for him to cheat on her. You know, men ain't shit. I mean, it was a lot of very interesting comments. Y'all see them here as I'm posting them. Now, another thing that I found very interesting is that Party has, you know, somewhat replied back. He hasn't said anything, you know, verbally, but he did take to his Instagram page and he posted that infamous clip of Future where Future is saying it's an evil world. Y'all go ahead and check this out. It's an evil world we live in. This man was trending for about three days straight. He was trending. People were sending him death threats. People were going in on him, telling him he wasn't shit. Not one time, once this video went viral, once this song went viral, did she come out and say, hey, y'all, I've had other boyfriends. What are y'all doing? Don't attack him. We left on a good note. It's not about party. She didn't one time, as a decent ex-girlfriend, as somebody that you were, you know, in a relationship with, think, wow, how's this going to affect him and his mental health and his daughter and his family? Let me clear this up because I know how the fans can get. I know how the Internet can get. I've been attacked. I've been through it. So let me not do this to somebody else. But no, she sat back and said nothing. She watched all this play out. She watched her fans and everybody drag this man. And said absolutely nothing until he decided to go on a whole boat tour. Because even when he dropped the diss track, she didn't say anything. She didn't come out and say, well, you know, I didn't mean this about you. I'm sorry if you took it that way. But now that he's going on a whole boat tour, which I think he doesn't need to go on anymore, um... Now she's speaking out. I'm a good judge of energy. The whole time she has this weird smirk on her face. All I get from her is Regina George vibes. And what's very funny about that, if y'all don't know, there's a Mean Girls coming to Broadway in January. Well, guess who is on that soundtrack? For y'all who don't know, Megan and Renee Rapp, they just dropped their artwork single for Mean Girls today. December 13th, they dropped it today. This is the artwork cover and it's called Not My Fault. And it is for the Mean Girls soundtrack. If y'all know anything about the Mean Girls, y'all know about Regina uh, George, who was the most popular Mean Girl. She was a gaslighter. She was a narcissist. And let's not forget, Regina George was the one who caused all the chaos to ensue in the school from the burn book, which caused the whole school, all the girls in the school to fight and get into it with each other. When I see Meg, that's all I get is Regina George vibes. <laughs> I found it in the girls' bathroom. It's so mean, Mr. Duvall. She's an agent of chaos, and y'all can sit here and defend her and make all types of excuses. Again, this has nothing to do with the shooting. This has nothing to do with the whole Tory situation. I'm talking about her character. I get tired of people who like to throw rocks and hide their hands. I just felt like watching this video is nothing but a bunch of gaslighting and her trying to deflect and make excuses. If you're in a better space, then be in a better space. She could have dropped her Cobra song and just made it about her, her parents, and what she's been through. She didn't have to bring up the cheating part. She didn't, you know, she, she did that to, you know, like he said, she needed a villain in the song. 
She did that to cause controversy. She did that to be an agent of chaos. And now that it's blowing up again, now she's going back into victim mode and she's upset. And, well, this person should have spoke up and that person should have spoke up. Why didn't you speak up? This was your best friend. You smashed her guy that she was messing with. Why didn't you speak up and say, hey? And the thing is, Megan was the one in the wrong in this situation as far as this kelsey Tory love triangle. She was messing with Tory behind Kelsey's back. So why not at least do that for her and say, yo, y'all chill out. We may not be cool, but she's not the one who shot me. And then with this party situation, if y'all are not together, things happen, people break up, people go their separate ways. Why not come out and say, it's not about him? But now that these people speak up and defend themselves, like we said on the podcast last month, once Kelsey came back with her diss track, now she's a victim. She's being picked on. Once Partisan defends himself, now she's a victim. She's being picked on. I think her being on the Mean Girls soundtrack is very fitting because all I get from her is Regina George energy. But again, this is my opinion. Y'all can be mad if y'all want to. I could care less. And again, before y'all get in y'all's feelings, I'm not talking about the shooting. I'm not saying that Tory should be freed. I don't even care about the driver coming out in the paperwork because, again, he's been found guilty in a court of law. And no matter how much y'all rant and rave on Twitter, uh, justice has been served. The judicial system did what they did, said what they said. There's nothing y'all can change about that. My gripe is simply this situation with Kelsey and Party because she brought it up and she's trying to now rewrite history. Sorry, but I was there and I have receipts and I've been covering this story from day one and you're not going to rewrite history. You know, so that's all I'm talking about. As far as the whole driver situation, it is what it is. Um, he's been convicted. So y'all can stop crying about that on Twitter as well. But yeah, this whole situation is a hot mess. Um, but let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. How do y'all feel about this video? Um, you know, what do y'all think about this whole situation? You know, do you feel like she's all the way innocent in this? Or do you feel like she's throwing rocks and hiding her hands? I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Again, this is my opinion. You don't have to agree, but I'm not going to. Do not DM me, disrespecting me, doing all that goofy shit. Leave me the hell alone. If you don't like the commentary, go watch somebody else. Because I get tired of any time you speak about Meg, there's like a bunch of people in their feelings because you're not allowed to point out her inconsistencies when it just comes to certain things about her character. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Leave a comment down below. Please hit the video with the like. Make sure you still subscribe. If you, you know, if you rock with me, subscribe. If you don't, unsubscribe and keep it pushing. And I will talk to y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all's day. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So tell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.